Hey guys, uh, Matt with the Kayak Buddies. Uh, today I'm just showing you guys the external gas tank mod that works like a champ. Basically all we're doing is we're cutting into the, uh, the fuel cap up on top, putting a barb with a little RTV, and as you guys can see there's a bracket on the rear here. It has an on and off switch, so when you do unplug down here for transportation purposes, you just turn that off. Or if you don't want to run the external tank, at all you simply just turn that off you don't have to worry about it because it is a sealed system so you don't have to worry about it back flowing now you'll notice in here there's no gas so what happens is on the little kicker tank that i have here uh, which is all quarter inch line by the way i've been using this as of late to uh you know fill up the tank as i'm running so i don't have to worry about constantly you know filling up with gas every so often so right now i'm at about half a tank and i usually turn my engine full cock to the side just so we can kind of get a good run on it. And then as you guys see, as I'm filling it, you can see it to the fuel, the fuel filter. It just makes it easier. So I give it a couple little squeezes and literally it's full in a few seconds. That's pretty much it. So you can kind of see the setup here, which is interesting. It actually fits like it belongs. Right on the hump here, it fits on the tank. It's kind of wild. And I use the back strap here. Again, fuel bulb. Pretty much that's it. I mean, there's nothing really complicated about this system. I will be offering the, the fittings kit, you know, with the 3D printed bracket in the back. You will have to tap the back uh, threads back here, but that's a simple job, it's 30 seconds literally. But uh, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go with a smaller tank eventually, I'll probably go with a one gallon. I don't, I don't ever see myself needing this. You do have to make sure here that the vent is up. I'm going to turn it off now simply because there's no reason for me to have to fill again. But uh, there you have it. So we're going to run and fill. Again, gas bleeds back into the tank, so you don't have to worry about that. Again, being that this is a closed system, I'll show you guys. Okay, there is no vent up here, so we don't have to worry about tapping in. You can see the fuel in there. I just filled it up with about 10 squeezes. But you don't need to worry about having to go through the vent. There's no vent on these. The vents. You know, it's a closed system, so you don't have to worry about it. Again, I use these spring-loaded clamps. It just makes it a lot easier when you have to disconnect. And that's pretty much it. I think we're ready to rock and roll. So I'm going to run this thing out and then fill it remotely and see how difficult it is. I've always filled it when it's stationary like you see it, so let's see what happens. All right, so we're just kind of cruising here, and we're right about half throttle. I don't know what my speeds are. I'm not even going to look today. I'm just going to kind of get it at the end. But as far as noise is concerned, guys, it's absolutely pleasurable. So for you guys always worried about the noise, you know, I always report this because that's, everyone thinks it's the weed eater loud. It's, it's by no means weed eater loud. I am running a stainless steel two blade prop, which helps with noise. And it also helps with the fact that it doesn't bog the engine down. So we'll run this thing wide open throughout the day and we'll see what we got guys. And hopefully we get some really high numbers. I think we will. Well, we are cruising about like 4.2. I mean, you can barely hear that engine. I mean, it makes so little noise on the first click. I mean, it revs up, don't get me wrong, but uh, we're at 4.2. Max speed thus far is 6.1, dragging a boatload of weed on the back of the skeg. Um, but we are about a mile and a half into the journey right now. We're gonna head out to a nice open lake to try to get some some freshwater donkeys in the boat and um, we'll see where our gas is at give you guys a little one two three on how to fill from your seat without having to actually touch the engine which I think a lot of people wanted they don't want to have to reach around so we'll talk about that a little bit later on but I think uh, the premise behind this is that you want to just turn around and squeeze the bulb and not worry about it so I'm with you on that one about you guys but i can tell you man gas engines on kayaks just it gets no better man this thing this pursuit is so smooth i turn corners like i'm like i'm drifting i mean it's so it's so awesome everyone just stares at you like how the hell and why did you do that but uh yeah what a day beautiful day in south florida i mean what an asset to have power. I'm sorry, but electric cannot do that. There's no way. I'll, I'll suffer the noise a little bit, but you know what? That's only momentary until you get to your spot. So anyway, so, so far 6.1. 
Come on, dog, get out of the way. A lot of wildlife out today. So this is four miles an hour under a bridge. For all the people that think they're gonna go deaf, well, there you go. We're at 4.9, almost five, and that's about all the noise you're gonna get if you wanna cruise. But I like to go fast, so. So guys, I actually turned around here because I wanna show you something, why I don't do electric. Well, first off, I turn in my own circle, but you're gonna see ahead of me just crazy amounts of weed, right? I'm gonna go right through it. I don't even think twice about it, right? I'm gonna show you slow motion going through it. When I say slow, like two and a half miles an hour, just to try to get caught up in it, right? I'm gonna go through all of it. And this obviously is yard clippings and all kinds of other crap that people put in the water. Okay, right over it. I don't sugarcoat anything. You'll see this is, this is ridiculous. You should not be in here. Disgusting. Palm fronds, coconuts. I mean, people just don't care because they don't love the water. But anyway, the point behind this is I'm not getting stuck. That two-blade stainless prop or the two-blade aluminum is no joke. It will cut right through it. So now I'm going to turn on my own dime. Now I'm not gassing it because I'm trying to respect the neighbors a little bit. They don't want wakes. All right, so now I'm gonna buzz through it. A little more power. Look at that. Oh, Jesus, man. Not a sound difference on this motor at all. I'm sure I'm dragging a clump back there. No doubt. Electric, good luck on that one. So I pulled over just to check uh, the weed on my engine. You can see there's the clump that literally came off the gearbox and you would never have known. It's crazy. So this is what I was mentioning earlier about the gas. Once you get about 10% down, which, you know, you'll kind of hear it sputter. It won't just conk out on you. You want to fill it up. So I'm going to jump in this thing right now and go ahead and fill it up from the remote position. And then I'll fire the engine back up just so you guys get a good run on it. So if you're going to remote fill it, you don't need to move the gas tank. But if you do want to spin this around, obviously it looks like it's going to have to go farther back. thought it was getting slick and riding it on the hump there that's built into the boat, but that didn't work. So it needs to stay in the well. It won't go anywhere. Obviously I can strap it down. I'll just move the straps back and that'll be just as good. Give me a little more spin room. So let me go ahead and remote fill this and let you guys see it with it strapped in the well. So as I mentioned a second ago, you got to pull the vents on these. You can't, I mean, I, I've, I've done it before with the vent, you know, closed, but you'll see there it is. I mean, it really doesn't get any harder than this. I technically don't have to spin my seat around. Fuel bulb is over on my right hand side. You just got to make sure you give yourself enough line. That tends to be the drawback if you uh, don't have a long enough fuel line. But uh, I literally just give it some squeezes, get some air in that tank, fill it up. I'm just right now, I'm on squeeze about, I don't know, I'm about 10 right now into it. So let's just check the tank. So what I do is I literally turn that tank sideways. And you can see it being that it's white, it's probably about a third full now. So I'm just gonna keep going and top it off. There we go, I think we're good now. Oh yeah, right at the top. You can see it, if I move the boat, you'll see it's literally right beneath the cap. So we're good. So now we can remote start this thing and get out of here, do some fishing. Anyway, I'll take some more shots of it later so you guys can see it. But we dragged probably a good five pound patch of weed with us all the way around for the last two miles. So, okay, so we got a dog trying to bite me. Let me get out of his way. Hope he can't swim. It's a big dog. All right, so today, uh, as far as the runtime on a full tank of gas, I got about 3.9 miles out of a tank running wide open. Top speed 6.1. And I did not have, and again, I almost ran out of gas, which was the intent of today to see if I could fill this thing up on the fly, which I was able to do. You'll see down here, that's where I have my, my fuel bulb right there attached to a kicker tank. I don't need a tank that big. I'm gonna kind of reduce the size of that tank. But um, 
Yeah, I'm able to just squeeze it a couple of times throughout my travels and never worry about fuel. 6.1 has been the average speed on flat water. I have no ebbs and flows to help me with my speed, but definitely a 6.1 is where I need to be. And um, that's it, man. We're just gonna run back now. May fish off the bank a little bit and uh, that's it, man. This has been an absolute success. On the back end, I'll show you guys how to dismantle it. Doesn't take much, but I'll show you guys the, the procedure on that, and that's it. It's about 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. And you have unlimited fuel for the most part. So now we're heading towards Snowden's Dam, wide open. About 6.2. Beautiful day out. So we're going against current right now. Wide open, running the external fuel tank. I'm just gonna, I'm just running gas to see how this thing works. If there's any flaws in it, right now it's been awesome. So we have attained against current. Come on, Doug. Six point one. Day out. Morning was a bit crazy. All the debris in the water made it difficult to fish on the freshwater side. We're now approaching the saltwater side. You can kind of see the dam up front. As long as you guys do not come in and chase me, we're good. <laughs> 